got uh, the New World Order trying to get their claws into, of all things, a concept that's dying faster than NFTs. Fakebook announces the World Economic Forum will have a leadership role in the metaverse. Do you need any more reasons to not want anything to do with this? Because because really the metaverse is nothing more than a way for these corporations to advertise to you and sell you more things in a different way. But I find it kind of funny that these um, the World Economic Forum of all groups is jumping full on into the metaverse as the metaverse is just plummeting, right? Because nobody cares anymore. So metaverse and NFTs both, they were pushed very heavily by a very small vocal minority of people. And now that the, the crypto bubble has is uh, popping again, I'm not saying it's never going to go back up. Don't get me wrong. But it's kind of shattered the illusion for a lot of people. Uh, like we covered this when Squeenix was jumping on NFTs. NFTs are uh, are are plummeting. Like no one's buying them anymore. The the trade for of NFTs is you know disappearing. The med like interest in the metaverse is uh, disappearing. Yeah, Bitcoin's below a twenty nine thousand at uh, at least as of this recording. So right as all these uh, organizations and corpos are going all in on Bitcoin, or not Bitcoin, on uh, NFTs and Metaverse, it's fucking collapsing. So the World Economic Forum is on track to be at the center of defining what the future Metaverse will look like by inserting itself into the Metaverse's creation early on. Good thing it's already dead. Oh, yeah, so remember, guys, you can't pass through people in the metaverse, so you can't just put a suit on, uh, no, put on an afro and block the entrance where the what, what economic forums are, pools closed. Oh, I look forward to the trolling. Yeah, so the, already they they destroyed all semblance of like normal interactivity. So it, it's people keep asking, like pe people who don't know the reason for these decisions were made. They ask like why there's no collision detection among players in MMOs. And really the reason is trolling. If you had collision detection, like if players could move each other, if it was that kind of collision detection, oh, you know, players would be pushing each other off levels and shit like that. But the alternative is if players are immovable and impassable to other players, which is actually what Fakebook is doing. Like, you know, they are, they're having this like safety bubble or whatever around every player that, uh, like they, that nobody could get within there without that player's consent. All right. That, that, that so sounds great. Doesn't it? Oh, that's gonna, that that's gonna prevent digital struggle snuggle, whatever the fuck that is. No, you know what that's going to do? That's going to lead to like 10 players getting together and forming a line and activating their barriers right in front of doorways to like major areas of the metaverse. I can't wait to see it. You want to get in there? Sucks for you. The metaverse is closed. Exactly. The World Economic Forum's uh, multi-stakeholder initiative wants to assume a leadership role in defining and building the metaverse. Fakebook president of Global Affairs and former British Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg has announced. It's dead on arrival. So uh, at least we could be thankful for that. You know, the initiative uh, laid out in a post on the Davos Events website is ambitious. It seeks to provide guidance on creating an ethical, inclusive, economically viable metaverse and represents the link between business regulators, uh, civil society, and academia for both the private and public sectors. But notice who's not represented there, you know, the, cu the customers. Notice that. The Defining and Building the Metaverse uh, wants to focus on producing uh, government principles for it and also does something defined as a societal value creation. The initiative's first key area is supposed to determine safe, interoperable, and inclusive technology and environments for the metaverse, uh, while that value creation means is not explained. People have already forgotten the lessons of the internet. Do you think the internet would have been the game changer it was? If it if from its very inception it was under the complete control of governments or big corporations, 
The only reason the internet exploded like it did was because it was free of those influences. It's because it was a Wild West that it became the way uh, the way it did, and unfortunately, it's on the de- it's on the decline now. So, what what these guys hope is that the metaverse will will be as big of a game changer as the internet as a whole was, like 20, 30 years ago. Like th- that's their their hopes for the metaverse is it's going to change everything just like the internet did. And it has the potential to do so if it was unregulated and decentralized, just like the uh, original internet. If it comes out of the gate under the complete control of governments and the World Economic Forum, it's not even going to take off. Like it's going to come out of that gate and immediately trip and break its leg and face plant. Like th- that's that's the fate of the metaverse. You know, the Post does, however, say that initiative will provide information about risks and uh, incentives to businesses and society as well as individuals. And it will also outline how value chains uh, may be disrupted, industries may be transformed, and new assets could be created and rights protected. Oh, God. So they're already going to be uh, be ramming in DMCA and I- IP law bullshit into it from the start, too. Yeah, this thing's dead. No one's going to care. No, you're going to have corpos jumping on it. But then they're going to leave real quick once they realize there's no customers there. The World Economic Forum appears to want to get involved in the creation and uh, through governments and re- governance and regulation, ultimately control the metaverse in the early stages of its development. The Post recognizes that the concept uh, could go in different directions and the World Economic Forum would like to direct it in a particular one agreed on by those participating in the initiative. So the exact opposite of the early internet. They've learned nothing from the internet at all and i look forward to watching them lose everything because a lot of corporations and governments even are betting everything on this garbage i would want nothing more than to watch it crash and burn so currently their their number is over 60 including big tech uh the post cites statements from stakeholders such as clegg on behalf of facebook and top execs at microsoft htc soigny as well as walmart cg corporation the lego group uh and Animica brands and others. Among the 60 or so stakeholders uh, are not uh, only technology and corporate giants and startups, but as also academics representing a, a representative of, of civil society, the World Economic Forum said. No representatives for the customer, though. And what the initiative promises is to give us in, in the industry a toolkit for building the metaverse that is ethical and responsible in nature. So it, 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 it's neutered before it's even born. God, like the, the the embryo is still forming in the womb, and and uh, right as the testicles are starting to develop, they go in there and snip them. According to Clegg, the future of metaverse represent a force for inclusion and equity. Got it. So it's dead on arrival, and we shouldn't bother. It m- makes sense. That's that's fine. I can I understand. Point taken. I, I already understood this from the start. Now we know. And Facebook doesn't want to be held too accountable either. Oh, yep, that's that's it. They want to make all the money, but they don't want responsibility if something goes wrong. It mustn't be shaped by tech companies on their own. It needs to be developed openly with a spirit of cooperation between the private sector, lawmakers, civil society, academia, and the people who use the technologies. That last one should be first, but it's an afterthought to them. It's unclear from the WEF document, however, uh, how exactly people who will use these technologies are represented as stakeholders. Oh, they're not. So what they're going to do is they're going to force you to use this. You know, we, we saw the, an attempt at this when Facebook was exploding. And some, some websites got rid of the ability to create an account. Like you could only sign in through Facebook. Like the, they went all in with single sign-on. They're, they're probably going to do something similar with the metaverse. Like they're going to find some uh, technology or services that everyone relies on, and they're going to lock them to the metaverse to force you onto it. In, in a way, it's kind of like what Google did with Google+. Plus. So they could claim that Google+, Plus is the fastest growing social network in the world. They forced everyone on YouTube to get a Google+, Plus account, or else you can't use YouTube anymore. And then next month, oh, look at all the new users we got. We're booming. No shit when you force people on it. 
us if we wanted to keep using YouTube, we had no fucking option. We had to do it. Now things didn't go too well for Google Plus. Things didn't go too well for those forced fake book sites. So hopefully history repeats itself. <laughs>